So this video is how to use Notion for SEO, doing tasks like keyword research, clustering, titles, content briefs. And if you stick around until the end, I'm gonna give you the SOP, and I'm gonna share the document we create here together. Uh, so let's get started. For example, if we wanted to do uh, some keyword research for a new website about safari holidays, I'll start by hitting spacebar. This activates the AI feature of Notion SEO. And I'm gonna say, give me 50 keywords related to Safari holidays. And then it's gonna go and give me 50 keywords. The good thing about um, AI keyword research, even though you don't get the volumes, you might get related, semantic, lateral kind of keywords you wouldn't have thought of when doing traditional keyword research with traditional keyword tools where it's kind of input output um, and there's no AI kind of um, element to it so once you've got this big list of keywords 50 is a good amount it's like exhaustive it's, it shows you the lay of the land I think it's enough to see you know all the head terms and all the categories you can create for your site we then want to see what kind of categories we should we should um, put into our site what kind of sections we should have on our site so group these keywords into categories so what we're doing here is trying to get some themes so we've got safari types we've got safari packages and deals safari accommodations destinations activities experiences safari specialities safari animals so there's a few different categories here we can we can split the site up into and i think these are pretty pretty logical you know these act this activity want to be pretty cool i bet there's a lot of long tail keywords around these um yeah we've got um safari types which is an obvious one specialities photographers conservation bird watching honeymoon okay so what I like to do is I want to get a title, like an SEO title for each of these keywords, for each of these articles. I think a title just gives a keyword a bit more flavor, especially when you're passing it on to a writer. Uh, giving them like a cold keyword to write about is a bit uninspiring. So I like to give them a suggested title, even if it's from AI, you know, I think it, it helps give them a bit more imagination on what they can write about. And then the brief obviously helps a lot further. So, oops, for each keyword, create an SEO optimized title. So as you can see, it has created an SEO optimized title, pretty good as well. You might need to edit some of these, but they're pretty good. And what we want to do is we want to put these back into the um, into the themes as well. So we'll we'll ask it to do that after this generation. So put these into the categories with the keyword in a table. So I like to see it in a table because the table um, just, I don't know, it makes it easier to, um, to see everything clearly. And so what we've got here is the category on the, top, on the left hand side, the keyword, uh, in the second column, and then the SEO optimized title. So what we're getting here now is a bit of a plan for our website. Um, types, packages and deals, accommodations, destinations, activities, specialities and animals. Okay, we can expand on each of these categories as well. So we can go further, do some further keyword research on each one. Um, but the next step here is if we just want to get our first 50 articles on the website, we need to create a brief for each of these. So let's go on to a new tab and we're gonna say 
create a content brief, let's say an SEO content brief, so it knows to include things like keywords and a meta title and stuff like that. Create an SEO content brief for an article titled Optimized for the keyword. The keyword for this one was African Safaris. African Safaris. Okay, so what we should get is a full content brief. So it's got the, it's done a title for us, it's done primary keywords, secondary keywords, target audience. It's given us some content goals and then it's given us an outline and then a CTA, even, you know, SEO recommendations. Great. And that's perfect. So then with this, what we want to do is we want to get the link of this. And we want to add a new column here. We're going to call this brief. And we're just going to put click here. And then we're going to link to that. So once we've done each of those, we will have a full 50 50 article content plan with the category, the keyword, the optimized title and the con and the brief. So we can pass this to a writer and they can get started and it's all done within Notion. So if you are working with Notion completely with your writers, you can share this this whole um this whole page with them and then they can paste in the article there. So there we go. I mean, you could even go one step further and from this content brief, you can write the article. So, you know, AI is using its own brief here. And it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good to me, yeah. So then this, this can actually go onto a new page. This page here. That's the title. And then what we're doing is linking to this now. So what we've got then is the everything created by Notion here. So that we haven't even left and gone to an, any keyword tool or anything. We've got the category, we've got the keyword, got the optimized title to give us that flavor, to give us that intent. We've got the brief. And then if you're using a writer or if you're using Notion itself, Notion or any AI tool works a lot better when you when you give it that brief, when you give it that, that bit of granular instruction. And then you just complete this 50, 50 rows and you upload the content to WordPress or your CMS. And there you go, there's your first 50 articles all with the help of Notion, and that's Notion SEO for you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, comment, and let me know how you're using Notion for your SEO. I'll see you on the next video.